This video will look at joint arrangements. So a joint arrangement is where two or more parties or investors has joint control over another entity. And joint control is defined in paragraph 7 of IFRS 11. So two companies or two or more companies has joint control when there's a contractual agreement between them. So that's important. And in this contractual agreement, it states that the decisions made that directs the re relevant activities of this company requires unanimous consent. So unanimous consent means these two parties have to agree when they make these decisions, before those decisions can be made. And these, this unanimous consent can either be explicit so in the contractual agreement, it states they need unanimous consent, or it could be implied. So if you think of a case where, for instance, um, two companies, A and B, owns 50% each in company C. And the contract states that 51% is required in order to make decisions on the relevant activities. Well, that implies that A and B has to work together in order to make any decisions because with 50% alone, neither of these companies can make these decisions or can decide on big decisions. So they have to work together. So unanimous consent is implied. So there will be joint control and this will be a joint arrangement. So these two companies then jointly control C. Now, if we go further, joint arrangements can, be arrangements can be classified in one of two ways. And, and you need to be able to address this in a discussion question. So they'll give you all the information and you have to apply IFRS 11 then to, to answer the discussion question. To, to, to say is or to conclude whether this is a joint venture or a joint operation. So those are the two classifications of joint arrangements. Joint ventures and joint operations. So in IFRS 15, they discuss joint operations. So this is if the company, the investors, have the rights to the individual assets and obligations for the individual liabilities of the company in question, the investee or the investment. Uh, then it's a joint operation. And we, you don't need to know how to account for this. The accounting of joint operations will not be tested. Joint ventures are where the investors or two or more investors has the rights to the net assets of the company in question. So what is the right to the net assets? That's basically the rights that you get as a shareholder, the equity in the company. So then it's a joint venture. And if it is a joint venture, we will apply IAS 28 equity accounting which we'll have a look at. So that's similar to what we use um, for associates, investments in associates. So a discussion question will address whether this joint arrangement is a joint venture or a joint operation based on the information. And a calculation question, we have to do journals or prepare uh, parts of the financial statements there they will tell you that it's a joint venture or they'll tell you that it's an investment in an associate if they want you to apply equity accounting, if they want to test those journals. Now when we look at whether it's a joint venture or a joint operation, we will consider the structure of the joint arrangement. And so that's in paragraph 17. So if, it's, if there's no separate vehicle, so we just pull assets and liabilities together to form a joint well operation so uh, uh, there's a certain premises we if each of the investors give assets they jointly incur liabilities but there's no separate vehicle there's no separate company incorporated for this joint arrangement then it's a joint operation if there is a separate vehicle so we establish a new company we incorporate a new company a pty limited for this joint arrangement 
then it will be a joint or usually be a joint venture because we only have rights to the net assets, to the equity of this separate vehicle. So it will be a joint venture. But in some cases, it could still be a joint operation. And that is the case if this separate vehicle, the separate company, was established for the sole purpose of these investors. So they are the only customers of this joint operation. They are the only suppliers to this joint operation. So there's no other parties, there's no transactions with other parties, and then it could still be classified as a joint operation. So this is in paragraph 17. Go uh, make sure that you highlight the relevant um, paragraphs and that you practice some discussion questions on classifying joint arrangements as joint ventures or joint operations.